Alright guys, I'm back and basically what I'm here to do is to show you guys how to make a compound interest program. And what this basically does is, those are my birds, what this basically does is it lets you see how much money you've accumulated over interest. So let's say you, you're investing and you put some, you put some money down into one company and you're letting it sit tight and grow for a couple years now over the years if you've made a good financial decision and picking which company you want to invest in your money should be growing not at a huge amount maybe at like five percent seven percent interest per year so if you let that sit tight for 20 25 years you should get a pretty significant amount of sum depending on how much you deposit it and principal and principal is just your deposit basically or think of it um, or think of it like retirement you're putting money down so you can get money later something like that so without really talking any further I'm about to show you guys how to do this let's get ready so you want to start off by making your variables amounts and you don't know what that is yet double equal whoops principal and this is a real life um thing if you have a college math class you might encounter this um you'll have to do like these weird not really these weird things like this is legit like this stuff is useful in real life let's say we're depositing fifty dollars into one of our companies make another one the rate and the rate is going to serve as how much money we're getting back we're get we're receiving from our investment so think of it as a dividend so let's say like hmm, if you're a good investor you could probably pull 10% interest a year so let's go what we want to do first is to start a loop and to start a loop you really have to it's really easy you do this for and and we're going to do years years one year years equal to or greater than 10 years so we're going to do a loop for 10 years and you have to make sure that they're all the same it's a pain it's really case sensitive and grammar sensitive grammar sensitive yeah I know and this is basically this is how you write a loop for this is your variable and it's you're doing it one at a time so you're starting you're starting from one you're starting from one your variable that tells the program that you're starting from one you're going to 10 years to up to or I mean you're going greater than or equal to so you're going to 10 years basically and you're going you're increasing by one so you start off by one and you go up one so remember that and what we want to do next is we want to use these variables from up here so pay attention now amount equals principal and you have to use this weird I have no idea why this is in here but just remember this math power and you should get this and it's basically like a cheat sheet telling you everything you're going to need to know how to do or what you're going to need to know what you're going to need to include in it so two arguments so let's get ready your first argument is here this one plus rate now your rate is right here so it's going to be um, extracting the number from this variable 
put this comma here because if you don't it's not going to work I made that mistake don't make the same mistake again that would be counterintuitive and what we want to do here is we want to finish this off by putting years so it knows that we're using this variable and comma here yeah the comma there and we're basically printing it out on the screen and let's see what's going to happen um so we start off by years plus and if you're if you watch my tutorials these are strings and you should know how to write strings by now if you don't go look inside my tutorials and my tutorial series and it will show you how to this is basically it this is actually it might look really long and complicated to a, a beginner but let me just break it down for you it's really simple your class and all everything you should know that you write variables for everything you're going to use so amounts is how much you're going to be getting you don't know that so that's why it doesn't have a number principal think of it as a deposit you're putting fifty dollars down and your rate this is how much you should be getting every year so it, it's going to it's going to be doing like an equation for you so the loop you start off from year one you're going to up to ten years and one year happens every time the amount this is basically the equation pretty self-explanatory so let me run it now this is what it outputs your first year you you're going to make fifty five dollars basically I'm not counting these zeros because these zeros are hopeless your second year you're going to be making sixty dollars sixty six dollars oh you're rich sixty seventy three eighty eighty eight and so on this is what good investors do they pick good companies to invest in or stocks or bonds or mutual funds stuff like that and if you can write great interest programs and stuff like that you could probably work for a lot of these investing companies like E-Trade or Share Builder or yeah I, I, I just had I just zoned out E-Trade or very easy to look it up well that's it for me I'm going to be uploading tutorials for you to watch we're going to be working on graphical user inter yeah this interface the GUI in Java so keep it keep watching Python tutorial series coming up as soon as I start learning it like add subscribe Henry 1502 let me know what you think I'm out